Well, I came here because... It's just that I'm wondering about this relationship I had with a jacuzzi many years ago. Like, when I was a teenager. I have this feeling that the water went all the way up to my brain then. It's something that cocks have never managed to do. Do you understand what I mean? I'm not sure if I follow. Why don't you tell me a little more? Uh, we have ten minutes, by the way. I turned against the jacuzzi wall. There was a mirror behind the jacuzzi. I told my friends about how nice it felt when the water pressure pushed against my belly. I lifted myself 15 centimeters upwards and hoped my friends didn't notice. I looked into the mirror to make sure my face remained as expressionless as possible. There were plans between the jacuzzi and the mirror. They might have been fake. How many years ago was it? And what's your concern about it now? It's because I just moved into a new apartment, which is above this Finnish sauna. There are all these smells and sounds and heat entering my flat through the floor. It's quite good for my heating bill, and if I press myself against the floor, I can feel the water inside me begin to move again. Tell me, do you eat bread? No. Do you eat fish? No. Okay, it's just, I'm not sure if I see the biological relevance here. Uh, come under the light right here. Yeah, hold it right there. Am I breaking out? Um, it's fine actually. Okay, so in what position did you sit in the jacuzzi and for how long? You can sit back up now, by the way. Mitä vittua täällä tapahtuu? Oh, and before you answer, do you have a summer job? No, seriously. The reason why I came here, the jacuzzi water went inside me, like, all the way. And now I see my bloated gut, and I know the water is there. My genitals drank it like a... I don't know what... like tea? But if I'm honest, I think it was part of the appeal that something goes in and stays as long as it wants as long as it can before it comes out. What is your occupation at the moment? As soon as I moved into this new apartment, I started producing lures. As in fishing lures? Yeah. Oh, so you're a professional fishing lure maker. That's excellent. How do you make them? No, it's it's not professional. And they're actually not for fishing. It's It's very personal. I see. Well, you do know that everything between us here is strictly confidential. Okay. Okay. I call the underground rivers. I call the fevers in the sauna. I press my body into the floor. Hot water, sharp hooks, and things I collected on the way. And all of this happens in your home? You see, I live above this sauna. I already mentioned it, didn't I? So, it's a place where men meet to bathe and hook up. And yeah, there's like this constant penetration just below me. 
and I like to listen closely so it whispers in my ear. I've actually only been to the bar because once the postal worker left my package there when I wasn't at home, so I went to pick it up. Anyways, people were hanging out with towels and smoking cigarettes indoors. So yeah, it's a, it's a cool place. It's a really cool place, I think. They've got a bar with TVs where they sometimes screen porn films and sometimes just normal TV, I think. And then behind a wall, cause like, I've looked at the website, there are like pools and maybe a sauna. Or what feels like a sauna. What do you mean, maybe a sauna? Isn't that the whole point? Shh. Shh. Anyways, when I'm lying against my floor, I think about this artist who lives in Berlin now. She's made this series of yellow gold paintings that she showed in a golden room with a beautiful wood parquet. And they're like paintings of bodies fucking that, that almost look abstract from the distance, like kind of a swarm of things. But when you come close to them, um, you see that it's really explicit, like lots of pussies and dicks. And um, yeah, they're really beautiful. They're amazing, actually. I can show you a picture from your computer. You cannot use this computer for that. Well, I can show you from my phone, just a sec. Or maybe you can just write down the name. Okay, wait. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Like, what I'm trying to... How is your sexual life at the moment? Why don't you want to see the picture? Whatever. I'm not going to write the name down for you. It's just that I picture the thing downstairs a little bit like that. So you live alone above a sauna and you don't eat fish? Yeah. Okay, um, I would just like you to be aware that you're avoiding my question about your current sexual life. And we're gonna need to wrap up here pretty soon. I once had a lover, but that was years ago. I remember they told me I taste like metal when they licked me. They seemed to find it erotic, like I was a double-A battery or something. Like a, like a steel woman. But then I was thinking about all the reports of copper and the mercury in the water here. And when I take a bath, it's like I'm floating in my own liquids. And now I'm living above the sauna and I think I can feel my lover boiling inside of me. Let's be quiet for a sec. Can you hear it? Here, put your hand on my belly. This water inside me has to get out. And it already once came out. What I felt was this sort of swelling, like an egg yolk bleeding a bright light inside of me. The more I tried to absorb the sound and the heat from below me, the more I could feel my cold, scaly belly stretching out. I found myself lying on the living room floor, surrounded by all these tenuous, shimmering lures looking straight into my eyes. I began to understand that these creatures carried all the pleasure of the hot, fucked-in water. It was in their DNA. Lately, I've been inviting the lures into the bath with me. The liquid and the minerals seem to calm them. And yeah, they've started to annoy me. 
and I'm eager to return to my spot on the floor. I'm not sure if you can see it here, but the hooks get stuck into my skin, some deeper and deeper, making little holes like they want to go back inside me. I long for the heat of the bodies below, and I feel myself both the fisher and the fish. So yeah, um, I'm happy not to love them anymore. <laughs>